Alrighty, so welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Bolt.new's new feature, which is Superbase Edge Function. So I thought I'd just go ahead and just actually start this with an actual example. So build me a one-page website that is called Nutrition Guide. All right, so the idea of this is what I want to do is to actually integrate an API so from OpenAI so it can answer. So I'm going to create a kind of a search function that people can search the nutrition of whatever piece of food that they want to search and we'll get OpenAI to answer. So this is just gonna make the first draft of the website first. Okay, so we are gonna add an edge function that allows users to search for information about their nutritional needs from OpenAI. Set that up and I'll give the API key. So what this is gonna do now is gonna ask me to set up a Superbase account so we can save our API keys secretly and safely. It's not gonna be the, available for people on the front end to, you know, to mess with or whatever. So this is much more secure than it, it was before. Okay, yes, yeah, so it says need a new Superbase connection. So I need to connect to Superbase. So I'll just call this food or something like that and create a password and create my new project. Okay, so now I need to actually add my OpenAI key. So I'll just copy this in here, add the name here and then uh, copy my key from the OpenAI. Just go to Google and search for this if you want to set this up. So I copied in my key there and I just need to save it. Okay, so now when I search for something, I can actually get my information. If you think about how powerful this is, right, to have this on your website, like this is really cool. Look at this, like this is so amazing. We just add these APIs, these cool little guys, like every single website in the world could have something like this and it would be beneficial to them. So if you do have any problems with this, uh, I recommend recommend going to edge functions and functions here and go into the log section and then you can see uh, you can just check it out here to see if it's working correctly right so I have successfully generated my response here but sometimes there might be errors or something like that so you can just check it out there and see what the problem is and copy it into uh, bolt.new okay so let's talk a little bit more about these superbase edge functions so superbase edge functions are serverless functions that run closer to users which means they respond quickly okay so it's basically you you can save this information you know all around the world geographically on different servers so it'll make things you know much faster that they get I, i'm thinking a lot about voice agencies agents sorry and you know how that's gonna work, you know, we can talk. I, th I think that's such a cool use case of AI, right? Where you can just talk to stuff. I'm talking to, you know, AI all day long, ChatGPT. So I wanna add that feature into a lot of my apps, right? So it also is good for handling things like payments, webhooks and emails. So I'm not gonna go too much into that because Bolt are gonna launch something next week, I think, or in two weeks, uh, sometime soon, right? With uh, Stripe buttons right so we can integrate that quickly and add some custom logic not on the front end so i guess this is more stuff like functions that you need you know when you actually need stuff on the back end it's a bit more complicated you can you can do this with uh, the edge functions and do things that require secret keys so this is the apis right so it's great now we can just save these in superbase right and yeah that's basically it uh, what we need to know about superbase edge functions so another really cool thing that I thought of maybe would be like to have a custom knowledge base or, you know, you could have different characters on this website, right? So I was thinking about like creatine, the creatine expert or something. So here I just did a deep uh, research with Google Gemini, right? So it just has like tons and tons of information about creatine, right? So you can just get all of that and then export it to docs. Okay, so we can just download this now to our computer, right? So now what we can do is go to Superbase uh, storage and add this PDF. So let's call it Connor Creatine and we can save that. Okay, so let's just drop that into our bucket here. So now we can have this stored uh, with Superbase. Okay, so I'm gonna say create a character below that is an expert in creatine. The character should be called Connor Creatine and use the PDF Connor Creatine in our Superbase storage to answer questions. So this time we're just gonna use that PDF to answer the questions. Okay, so now I have a nutrition guide and then I have a special person for uh, creatine and he has information right from my document here, five to seven days, right? So yeah, five to seven days. So really good uh, way to add some custom knowledge bases and you know your API keys. So it depends on what kind of knowledge and when this is like uh, quite a big piece of knowledge, then it can be really good uh, to use these edge functions 
uh, to try to you know get the information a little bit easier towards your users all right so if you are interested in bolt.new then you should check out the course down below that i made it's got like all these deadly uh, really good uh, live builds right so it's like i'm just building out things live that you can use all of these functions right and any all the features of bolt.new and then we're going to just create things like from start to finish all right i think that's the thing that's missing a little bit sometimes is creating things from start to finish so that we can actually make money with this tool so subscribe to the channel if you want more tutorials like this thanks for watching